Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. So the other day, I thoroughly enjoyed getting to share about um, the my grandparent, my grandmas and great grandmas and my mom and my mother-in-law and just how they have impacted my life. But I didn't want to stop there. One, I love just just sharing stories about the different people in my life and I want I want Thomas to be able to look back and watch these videos if he chooses and just realize that there are so many amazing people that have impacted my life and in turn impacted his and I want to have something to look back on too and so um, I wanted to mention there are a few other women that are not my mom or a grandma that has impacted my life. Um, I would say just as much as a mom. And I want you to um, understand that where I grew up, like there was my parents' house and my grandparents, my mom's, my dad's mom and dad were right down the road and then their parent then my dad's great grandma and grandpa were right down the road and then there was another great grandma and grandpa that were right down another road and so we all lived super close and then my dad's sister also lived right down the road so and when I say right down the road it wasn't like super close but we were only 10-15 minutes apart from each other at the most I don't it wasn't even 15 10 minutes apart from each other super super close and so one of the things one of the pivotal moments in my life that brought to light just how special and how good I had it was my senior year of high school um, I, don't, I don't remember the name of the award but there was this award where if you had really overcome something you could ap apply to win this award and it was one person from each school that could apply for this like ov overcoming diversity or challenges award I don't know it has a name I don't remember what it is and so um, the school I went to really small Indiana School for the Blind I was there my junior and senior year of high school and there our class got to choose who they thought was worthy of the award and it came down to me and this other girl this other girl completely blind um, I think she had some other problems with her back or something and so she had overcome some things and I had over and I was you know born with cerebral palsy born with water in my brain um, effect on the left side of my body and my vision and things and so what it came down to was Brittany we think you're worse off than she is and we think you've overcome more than she has and I was like oh okay and so like I wrote my thing and I whether you got the award or not you all got invited to go to this ceremony and it was a meal and it was really nice and there were speeches and things and then we get there and meet some of the different people and hear some of their stories and the person that was chosen had overcome a lot but also didn't have that team of people behind them didn't have that loving family you know and didn't have like this Cheer, cheering section like they had overcome all that without that support and so even though I didn't get the award my mom you know really opened my eyes my mom and my dad and sat there and said look at you you know this table of people all these people that wanted to be here for you this cheering section that you have and just all these people that care for you and so that, that really opened my eyes that, yeah, maybe I don't conquer the world or maybe I don't do this or that or whatever, but I still have this 
gigantic cheering section. And so, um, not only was it my grandma and my mom and my great grandmothers and my mother in law that have been there su supporting me, my aunt, my aunt Heidi, has also been amazing and has been at different surgeries. And um, I went through a really rough time at school. I think it was either fourth grade or third grade. We had all these bomb threats at school and just knowing that she was there at school and was there to, you know, help me through stuff. That was just such an encouragement and, um, you know, like she, she was there and I mean, she's still a listening ear and willing to talk and loves, loves Thomas dearly and, um, has just been a great impact in my life and so I would say her and the other person that has also been a great impact in my life is not even physically related to me and that is Rebecca um, if you have watched my videos before you know that camp is a big part of my life is a big part of Dan and I's life like that's where we met that's where we felt our call to ministry. That's, you know, started off as campers, went to cabin leaders, have been on staff. Like, it has been such a big part of our life. But Rebecca just wasn't a camp director. She wasn't just a boss. She wasn't just, oh, you work for me the, during the summer and then I forget about you the rest of the time. She has cared and loved us, like done just done so much for us um there was supposed to be a time where there was supposed to be this camp and then there didn't end up being this camp but she let me stay at camp anyways and um when dan and i first got married we got married we went on our honeymoon we went to our training and then um we found this house well it was supposed to be an apartment the truth was this lady had an extra room but she was it was a room and a bathroom and that was it and it just it was during the winter it was cold Dan was away at work I was home alone it was just it wasn't fun and so she sat there and said you know what we have these we have this house other house on at camp you know why don't you just come live here you know you can pay the rent that you were paying for that room and be in a much better situation. So she took us in then and just, we've never, you know, we've never had to like call ahead or, you know, ask for an invitation. The camp, her doors has always been open. She's always cared for us. Like she's Rebecca, but we also call her mom. You know, she's just, she's done so much for us and I, I think I've said this in other videos before you know like she could have looked at me and my situation and sat there and said well you have a disability so that's it's too high of a risk you know it's too high of a risk to have you here at camp as a camper it's too high of a risk to have you here on staff but she was her and Max were the ones that turned around and told my mom like let's give her a chance you know they were the ones that gave me my first job. They were the ones that sat there and said, yeah, we believe that you, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to. And it just, it meant something. And so having those people in your life that sit there and say, yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, you can. And we believe in you and we will support you and be there for you in whatever way we can. It just it makes a big big difference and so there's just so many different things that she has done and been there for me um you know just like Heidi was there helping out in whatever way she could for the wedding and um her kids helped out in the wedding Rebecca and the camp staff paid for our honeymoon and sent us on this scavenger hunt it was just so much fun and and such a such a blessing and just 
we're not the only ones. There have been, there have been kids that have come to camp, you know, that were sponsored by their churches or whatever, and they came with one set of clothes. And so Rebecca has done things where she's run, ran to Walmart and bought clothes for kids for a week. Or if kids needed shoes, she went out and bought shoes for them. You know, she always made sure that there was toothbrushes at camp and toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner and, and towels and Bibles. And she always made sure that kids were taken care of. And, and then at the end of camp, all those camp t-shirts are turned around and donated you know, to kids that need clothes, and just, she's always thinking, and doing, and serving, and it just, it makes a big, big difference, and, and Heidi on the same end as a kindergarten teacher, and has given, and given, and given, and, you know, deals with some of the most difficult kids, and it's just, it's, it's been amazing just to watch these two women, and how much they've impacted my life, and how much I've seen them impact other people's lives, and how much they believed in me. You know, um, it's when you have a disability, when you have challenges, it's so easy to climb back in your hole and say, okay, I'm just gonna give up on life and be done. But when you have those people that believe in you and trust that you can do things and say, yeah, you can do this, like that just makes a big, big difference. and. Um, another person that has been just so special too is my mom's sister Janie and I remember you know we would go and we would visit them and have a great time and then she'd always give me a piggyback ride to the car and um, go into the bridge festival with her and just you know sharing memories and even though her and grandma Patty lived you know two hours away they tried as much as they possibly could to be a part of our lives and um when my aunt Janie her when her daughter would dance she had this big dance recital once a year like we had our seats we had special seats with my vision I was able to sit up front and like those were our spot and everybody knew and Janie just worked really hard to get those seats and it just all these different women have done so many special things for me and I, I just I want you to know that no matter how rough or ugly or bad you think life is there are people rooting for you there are people that care about you um, no matter where you're coming from and so I just pray that you have many people in your corner caring for you rooting for you and um, pushing you forward because that's what will get you through life. Uh, that's today's video. We'll talk to you later. Bye. God bless.